In Pit Lane is proudly brought to you by DinoTech by Dino Dynamics. For your nearest workshop, visit our website. And with the support of the Ramada Resort, Phillip Island. Islands Motorsport Park is a stunning new 4.5 kilometre international standard circuit located near the township of Cromwell, 50 kilometres from Queenstown on New Zealand's spectacular South Island. The new circuit is primarily an exclusive members only motorsport country club, a highly popular concept in the United States and Europe. What we did was we took all the good bits that we've seen around the world and tried to put them into our track. And what's what's created, what's been created, is just a very, um, very hard track, uh, busy track, to um, race on. We haven't really raced on it yet. The first race is in November with AGTs, so at the moment, um, you know, we've done a few demonstration things, but there hasn't been a race. There has been a lap record set by Berdo at a 140 in the McLaren, and I guess 4.5 k's. That shows you how it's not really a fast track. It's more a, a stop and go track and and you know, second, third gear stuff. So, so how did you get involved in the in the project? <laughs> That's a big long story, but um, basically there was four guys working for seven years to to get it done, and uh, they just run out of energy and stuff. And I picked it up when it had all the permissions granted. Um, we redesigned the track because they just really had a road course thing going through the paddock. I was adamant that I wanted to go through the forest like the Nürburgring. I wanted a bridge and a tunnel and a lake and all those things because it's actually built in a tourist mecca. And we've discovered that um, tourism is what keeps the track alive and will keep it uh, going. Uh, we've got a go-kart track there that's very, very busy every day. We've got a museum that's a tribute to the Kiwi uh, motorsport drivers and teams. Very, very um, comprehensive, if you like. We've got a winery, a restaurant, uh, a whole thing going on. It's, it's actually quite a special. It's undoubtedly the best track in New Zealand, without question. The circuit will also hold a limited number of motorsport events, the first one being the final round of the Australian GT Championship in November. The South Island Endurance Series are going to finish their championship on the Friday-Saturday. We are going to finish our championship on the Friday-Saturday. And then on the Sunday, we're going to combine um, both fields, if you like, and do a you know, 500k race or a, you know, whatever, three and a half hour race, endurance race, two drivers. And hopefully, you know, try and create some kind of Bathurst of New Zealand type event with, you know, GD3 cars, two drivers, it's a pro-am type thing. And also the same weekend, Toyota are launching their 86 series, which they've already sold 25 cars in New Zealand. So it's, you know, for the first race there, it's going to be quite a special event. With circuits like Hampton Downs and now Highlands Park, New Zealand is well served for quality international standard race tracks. But how come they can do it? And we just can't seem to make it happen here. Oh, look, they've got a great motorsport fraternity, um, very strong, well-supported um, group of guys in the South Island and the North Island, um, and they've got a great heritage. And I think they're still connected to the car. I think a lot of young Australian guys are connected to their iPods or computers or whatever, but there's still a lot of Kiwi guys that um, love the cars and, and tinker with them. And um, then, uh, you know, the resource consent process, whilst it's exhaustive, it does cover everything off. And once you've ticked the box, you get on with it and do it. The unique layout of Highlands Park will make it a mecca for enthusiasts, not just from New Zealand and Australia, but from all over the world. So the question is, how do drivers here in Australia get the chance to experience this unique circuit? 
Matt, seriously, the best way to do it is to become a member of Highlands. It costs you $5,000 Kiwi, $5,000 Kiwi to become a platinum member. That allows you 80 days on the track. Um, I mean, work it out, it's cheap. And then it's four and a half grand a year green fees. And that allows you up to the members' lounge, and it's like the Qantas lounge, and allows you bloody free this and free that, and a jacket and a hat and whatever else. So once you've joined, it costs you four and a half grand a year to be a member of Highlands. It's nothing. And you can go there, uh, you know, for a week with a wife and kids and family for a holiday. And it, it would be cheaper to become a member, ship your car over there, race there for a week or play for a week, ship your car back and have a holiday. It would be cheaper than coming to Phillip Island for a day. That's how it is. You know, by the time you send your car over and back, fly there, join up, member, job done. One day at Phillip Island equals 80 days at, at um, Highlands. Why should you get your car tuned with a Dynotech Dyno? Your car will be more fuel efficient. An accurate tune means saving money at the pump. Your car is safe. It never has to leave the workshop to be tested. Increased performance, optimised fuel consumption and more power. Reduced emissions, protect the environment by minimising your carbon footprint. To find your nearest Dynotech workshop, go to www.dyno.com.au. Dynotech by Dyno Dynamics. In Pit Lane is proudly brought to you by Dynotech by Dino Dynamics. For your nearest workshop, visit our website. And with the support of the Ramada Resort, Phillip Island.